Well, happy Monday, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So tonight, uh, because it's been a little bit rainy and stormy, uh, we're not going to be enjoying yoga in person at the Battery. Instead, ta-da! Our new virtual reality, right? We get to come together and practice yoga even when it's raining at the Battery. We can all just hang out and do yoga anyway. So I'm happy that all of you are here. Uh, my name is Renee and as always thankful to the Battery and thankful to Kaiser Permanente for putting this all together for us so we can always enjoy our Mondays with a little bit of yoga. So thank you. Thank you again for, for tuning in and um, we'll get started, shall we? So tonight we're going to start uh, lying down on our backs. Lying down. So make your way back towards your mat or whatever space you're going to be using. And if you're not using a mat, no big deal. We're going to roll on down. Now once you get there, you want to be in a position that feels pretty comfortable. And some people like to bend their knees. It can be a little bit more uh, friendly on your back. Otherwise, you can extend your legs out and relax your arms wherever it's comfortable. And once you get there, we begin to make that conscious shift inwards or towards ourselves. The best way to do that is to lower your gaze or close your eyes. So set your body up, relax your eyes, and notice. Let your mind naturally start to drift, and paying attention to your inhales and exhales out of your nose. And it's okay if your mind wanders off during stillness. Keep reminding yourself to bring your mind back, back to your breathing, back to your breathing. said that one's life expands and contracts in proportion to the quality of breath. And engage with your breath fully. Notice the ebb and flow of air. And if your knees are not bent, bend your knees. And we'll start by coordinating just some simple movement uh, with the quality of our breath. So take a breath in and raise your arms over your head. Stretch them back. Get nice and long. Open those shoulders. And when you exhale, hug your right knee in towards your chest. Give it a squeeze with a breath out. Inhale, raise your arms over your head as you lengthen your right leg out 
and lower it down. Exhale as you bend your knees. So now your knees are next to one another. Let's do the other side. Gently draw your left knee in. Give it a squeeze. Let the breath go out as you draw the knee in. Inhale, get nice and long. Left leg stretches out. Arms go over your head. And then gently with an exhale, draw your knees. So both knees are bent near one another. Let's do the other side. Exhale, draw your knee in. Inhale, lengthen out. Legs and arms, nice and long. Gently bend your knees, knees next to each other. Other side, draw and hug your knee in. Stretch out fingertips to toe tips. And then bend your knee once again. Good, take a deep breath in, then exhale, draw both of your knees at the same time. Draw them in and squeeze. Now with your breath, we'll lift and lower just the head. So when you exhale, lift up. Imagine your nose, your forehead is going to come to your knees. Well, then inhale, lie back down. So rounding the back. Exhale, round up. Inhale and release it down. Three more times. Exhale and round. Inhaling as you rest your head. Last time here, round up with an exhale. Inhale, lower your head down. Now stretch everything out, both of your arms over your head, both of your legs nice and long. Stretch out, expand, lengthen. Bend both of your knees. Take your hands and hook the backs of your knees. And we're going to rock forward into a forward fold. So swing your legs back. Swing forward. Coming up to seated. Extend your legs nice and long. Raise your arms up. Exhale and fold forward. Relax forward. So the way that we breathe is a, a direct correlation. With, with the quality of our life, some have said that it's a metaphor for the way that we live our lives. So when we come to our mat, we have the opportunity to practice connecting with our breath. With each breath, we have the opportunity to connect and experience each breath as it is. And in turn, we have the opportunity to experience our lives in the present moment exactly as it is. Oftentimes we take the breath for granted. We're not even aware, not even aware that it's happening. And not till we come to our mat and practice a little yoga or perhaps a, a meditation practice do we notice the qualities that are there. It's so important to plug in every once in a while. All right, with an inhale, come on. We're going to roll forward onto all fours. You can cross your ankles if you want to, or if you need to go to the side, go to the side. Come forward onto your hands and your knees. We're going to make some big rotational movements. So take a breath in. When you breathe out, shift your hips out to the right. Just push them towards the right side of your space. Exhale as your hips go back to your right heel. Swing them across towards your left heel. Then inhale and come up, shifting your hips towards your left wrist. And then your right wrist. It's a big circle. Exhale as you draw half the circle towards your feet. And then inhale as you swing your hips forward, circling up towards your hands. Big, deep breaths. Big, deep movements, which lead to a big, deep experience. Yeah. So we'll draw a couple more circles, working into the hips and the low back. If you, if you sat still for most of the day, this rotational movement can really feel good and free up a lot of that energy. Uh, when, when we rotate. All right, last circle in this direction. Same movements now, just going the other way. Press your hips to the left. Exhale as your hips go to your left heel and your right heel. Inhale as your hips come up to your right wrist and then your left wrist. 
Big circles, pressing back, that's an exhalation. That's the contraction. And then the expansion happens when we come forward and we lengthen the front side. I didn't count, but uh, let's maybe do one more. One more circle in this direction. And once you feel about even, we'll start to make our way towards downward facing dog and inverted V. Now, if downward facing dog is too much, you can remain in all fours. Other words, otherwise, tuck your toes, press with your hands, lift your hips up into the air, let your gaze fall towards your belly button. Shift your hips from side to side or pedal your feet. Settling into what might, might be your, your first down dog of the day. Yeah. Just depends on what you've been doing today. And at the bottom of your exhale, look forward to your hands. Lift your heels up and start to tiptoe forward. Once you have your feet underneath you, bend your knees. Relax your chest down towards your thighs. Relax your head and your neck. You don't have to touch the ground. If you can't touch the ground on the floor, that's okay. Let your arms hang. You can grab your elbows or even grab uh, behind your knees here, rocking back and forth. According to the Bhagavad Gita, there are three major energetic qualities of humans, and they're called the gunas. Yeah, the gunas. Um, one is is rajasic energy, yeah, kind of a, a quick or um, fast moving energy. Another one is tamasic energy, tamas, which is slow or a little bit dull. And the space in between those two is called sattva or sattvic energy. So when you notice the qualities of your breath, it might display you know, some variation or some combination of that energy. A little slow, yeah, a little dull, a little fast or agitated. We're finding that space in between. When we bring together breath and movement, it's much easier to find that space of balance, that sattvic, sattvic state. All right, if you're holding on to anything, let it go. Let your arms hang. Press uh, with your heels especially. Draw your belly in. We're going to use your legs and slowly come up. Nice and slow. Over a couple of breaths. Take your time as you uncurl in the front of your body. Your head and neck will be the last thing to come up. And then roll your shoulders to the back. Ah, that feels better already, doesn't it? All right, so here we go. We're gonna start warming up with our first flow, Surya Namaskar, letter A, Sun Salutation A, with a little variation today. Inhale and raise your arms up over your head. And gaze up at your hands and exhale, open your hands out wide, swan dive forward. And shift your gaze down towards your big toes. Inhale, lift up halfway, you're gonna gaze forward. Hands can be on your legs or on the floor. Exhale, put your hands on your mat. Step your feet to the back of your mat. Bend your elbows and lower yourself down. Now here's where our variation is. With a big inhale, press yourself back up to the top of a push-up. Extra push-up today, yay! Exhale, lower yourself down. Now inhale, flatten out your feet. Lift your chest up. Now you can keep most of your body on the ground. This is Cobra. Ujjangasana, or you can use your arms and lift up into upward facing dog. Just be mindful of what's going on uh, in, in your back when you do that. Exhale, press your toes into your mat, lift your hips up, returning to an inverted V. Gaze towards your belly button. And take a few breaths. Remember the way we breathe. It has a metaphor for the way we live our lives. Our energy is a direct reflection of the qualities in our breath. So stay connected there as we move. Bottom of your exhale, lift to your hands, walk your feet. Up to your hands, inhale, lift up halfway to a flat back. Exhale, round your back and look up towards your knees. Inhale, rise all the way up. Look up at your hands. 
and we'll do it again. Exhale, swan dive forward, arms out, chest and heart nice and open. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, palms down, step back and lower down. Inhale, press yourself back up, half of a push up. Exhale, lower yourself back down. Inhale, into your back bend, feet nice and heavy. Lift your chest up, shoulders down. Exhale, tuck your toes to your mat, lift your hips up, and gaze towards your belly button. A few more breaths. And notice the quality of your breath can change with just a few movements and a little bit of awareness or attention. The shifts can start to happen very, very quickly. Bottom of your exhale, look to your hands, walk your feet up. Inhale, lift up halfway, look forward. Exhale, round in, look at your knees. Inhale, stand up nice and tall, look up at your hands. One more time through this. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, look up. Exhale, palms down, step back, lower down. Inhale, come right back up. Exhale, lower down again. Inhale, chest up, heart open. Exhale, toes to your mat, hips up. Breathe deeply so you can experience deeply. Bottom of your exhale, look to your hands, walk your feet up to your hands, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold, bend your knees. Inhale and lift your chest up. Hands can go to your hips, to your heart, or over your head, but keep your knees bent. Now moving into our next flow, Surya Namaskar B, Sun Salutation B. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Look at your toes again, inhale, lift up halfway, look forward. Exhale, palms down, step back, lower yourself down. Now, no extra push-up on this one. Inhale, lift your chest up, but another variation coming. Yeah. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up. Inverted V. Turn your left foot out to the left. Step your right foot forward to your hands. Bend your right knee. Inhale and sweep your arms up. Gaze up at your hands, warrior one. Now, keep your legs in this same position. Exhale, open your arms out like the letter T and look over your right middle fingertip. That's warrior two. Inhale, raise your arms up again, hips forward, warrior one. Exhale, open your arms up like that letter T, warrior two. Notice your breath. One more time, sweep your arms up into that warrior one position, arms up. And exhale, lower your hands down and step your right foot back, lower, high and low push up. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, toes to your mat, press your hips up. Other side, turn your right foot out to the right. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, arms up, hips forward. That's a warrior one. Exhale, arms out. That's warrior two. Inhale, arms come up again. Big inhale, that's warrior one. Exhale, open to the side of your mat. That's warrior two. One more time, raise your arms up, warrior one. Exhale, vinyasa, hands down. Step back and lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a few breaths. Bottom of your exhale, look to your hands. Walk your feet up to your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold, bend your knees. Inhale, return into that chair position with your knees bent. You decide what works best for your arms. And we'll start again. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, palms down, step back. Lower down, inhale, chest up. Exhale, toes to your mat, press your hips up, drop your left foot, step your right foot forward. Inhale, raise your arms up, warrior one. Exhale, open to warrior two. Inhale, stretch up, warrior one, extend. Exhale, warrior two. Warrior one, one more time, raise up, big inhale, lift up. Exhale, vinyasa. Change sides. This time, plant your right foot, step 
Step your left foot forward. Come on up. Sweep your arms up with an inhale. Exhale, peel open to the side. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. Chest forward, warrior one. Exhale, open to the side, warrior two. Return to warrior one. One more time. Lift your arms up. Exhale, vinyasa. Hold your downward facing dog and, and take a few breaths. The better we become at breathing, it directly influences the health of our heart. The slower that we breathe and the more efficient that we are at breathing, it keeps our heart muscles strong, our respiratory rate low. It keeps the heart nourished more fully with oxygen when we breathe better. Bottom of your exhale, look to your hands, walk your feet up, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold, bend your knees. Inhale, sweep your chest up. Maybe your arms go up too. We're going to do that one more time. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Inhale, half lift, look forward. Exhale, vinyasa. From downward facing dog, drop your left heel, step your right foot forward. Inhale, raise your arms up. Couple of different warriors here. Move with your breath. Exhale, open your arms up, warrior two. Inhale, arms up, warrior one. Exhale, arms out, warrior two. Inhale, arms up, warrior one. Exhale, vinyasa. So we can switch sides. Right heel down, step your left foot forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms out. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, open. One more time, sweep your arms up. Exhale, vinyasa. Bottom of your next exhale, look to your hands, walk your feet up to your hands, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold, bend your knees. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale and come to stand. Good. Now we should be a little bit more warmed up. We're going to start moving into a more complex flow. Again, lots of opportunities for us to Observe the qualities of our breath as we move. So uh, here we go. Inhale, raise your arms up, looking up. Exhale, fold forward, look down at your feet. And now plant your hands so you can step your feet back to downward facing dog. So coming into a nice inverted V. Now there is an option, and perhaps maybe we'll do this first on our knees. So then we'll go to down dog. So if you'd like to, uh, you can start on your hands and knees for this first, uh, first round. So inhale, lift your right leg and take it back uh, behind you. Exhale, take your right knee under your body and touch your left elbow. So take a twist. You can get your elbow and your knee together. Inhale, extend your right leg back. Exhale, bend your right knee and then roll your hip open. Roll your hip open so your right foot is going uh, to the left. Inhale, extend your right leg back behind you. Exhale, take your right knee and touch your right elbow this time. Same side, same knee, same elbow. Inhale, extend your right leg back. Exhale, bring your right foot forward to your hand. So imagine you're going to connect your knee and your nose together and then put your foot in front of you. Place it in between your hands. So right foot to your mat. And inhale, raise your arms up. Kneeling crescent lunge, kneeling crescent lunge, stretching up. Exhale, lower your hands down. And return to that all fours position. Now we're going to do that on the left side. Inhale, left leg, stretch it back. Exhale, left knee under your body, twist, touch your right elbow. Inhale, left leg goes back. Exhale, roll open. So bend your knee and roll your hip open, opening to the side. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Same side, knee to elbow. 
Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, bring your knee towards your nose. Hollow out the front side of your body. So you can step your left foot and place it in between your hands. Once your left foot is down, inhale, lift up. Raise your arms up. Kneeling crescent lunge. Exhale, lower your hands down. And come back to that tabletop position. So you have the option to stay with your knees down for this first part, especially if there's any wrist issues or shoulder issues, or it's a little bit too intense. You know, you find your breath isn't able to keep up with what's going on. Then you just need to, you know, be a little gentle, gentle with yourself and keep your knees down. Otherwise, tucking your toes, we'll do this from downward facing dog. So always know that even though I might be in downward facing dog, you can always keep your knees down, knees down um, if you need to. Not sure whether your knees should be down or knees should be up? Listen to your breath. Yeah, your breath will tell you. Your breath will tell you. Always breathing in and out through your nose. If you start breathing through your mouth or you find that you can't find your breath, that's an indication that it's a little bit too much. It's too much projasic energy. You need to bring it down a little bit so that you're able to flow uh, with, with your breath. You want to feel that expansion and contraction with every breath and every movement. Yeah. All right, so here we go. So either knees down or tuck your toes, lift your hips up into the air, downward facing dog. Same movements, starting with the right side. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bring your right knee to touch your left elbow. Bring it under your body and twist. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, bend your right knee and roll it open. Fire hydrant, or if you're comfortable flipping your dog, feel free to flip your dog here. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your right knee to touch your right elbow. Inhale, back to that three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your right foot forward to your hands. Inhale and sweep both of your arms up. Now, if your back leg is lifted, you're on your toes here. Yeah, your back heel, nice and lifted. Back knee up. Back toe up. Exhale, lower your hands down and step back to downward facing dog. Same movements on the left. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, left knee to your right elbow. Twist. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bend your left knee, roll it open or flip your dog. I think if I flipped, I'd probably knock over this backdrop. Probably not a good idea. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, left toes up towards the sky. Exhale, left foot. Put it in between your hands. Make sure your back heel is lifted. Inhale and sweep your arms up. High crescent lunge. Good. Exhale, hands down. Step back, downward facing dog. Now we're going to add on a few movements to the end of that. So start again with the right and adding on. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to your left elbow. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, roll your hip open or flip over into the back bend. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, extend, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot forward to your hands. Inhale, raise your arms up. High crescent lunge. This is where we're going to start to add on. Exhale, we're going to twist open to the right. Left arm in front of you, right arm behind you. Look back at your right thumb. And inhale, we're going to kind of do the back stroke here. Raise your arms up in front of you. Drop your left heel. Take your left hand and grab your right wrist. Legs are pretty straight here. This is called sky archer, so leaning back over your left leg. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Bend your right knee and drop your left knee down to your mat. Take a twist here, left elbow to your right knee. Kneeling, a twisted crescent lunge. Tuck your back toes. Inhale, untwist. Open to the long side of your mat. Five-pointed star. So hands are wide and feet are wide. Now you're going to turn your right toes in and your left toes out. So you're facing the back of your mat. Inhale, right arm's going to go up into the air. Exhale, place your right hand somewhere on your left leg or to the outside of your left foot. Left arm's going to go up into the air, revolved triangle, or twisted triangle. Inhale, stand up, bring both of your hands to your hips, balance on your left foot, and kick your right leg out in front of you. Point your toes, look at your right big toe. 
Big toe hold D. Exhale, bring your right heel on top of your left thigh. Bring your hands to your heart and sink down. Sink down. Bend your left knee. Coming into what's called a temple squat. Temple squat. Inhale, release your arms up. Put both of your feet on the ground. Stretch up. Exhale, lower your hands. Drop your hands to your mat, but step back to downward facing dog or drop your knees for all fours. Let's do it all on the left, which will turn us back around. Here we go. Inhale, left leg goes up. Three-legged dog, exhale, left knee to your right elbow. Inhale, stretch your toes up towards the ceiling and then bend your left knee, roll open or flip over. Inhale, three-legged dog, exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog again. Exhale, bring your left foot forward to your hands. Back heel is lifted. Inhale and raise your arms up. Coming up into that high lunge. Keep your legs just like this. Exhale, twist your lunge. Look back at your left hand, twisting open. Do the backstroke here. Left arm's going to go down towards the floor. But sweep your left arm up in front of you. Drop your right heel. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. Lean towards your right leg. It's that sky archer, sky archer pose. Exhale, hands to your heart, bend your left knee, drop your right knee to your mat, and twist, right elbow, left knee, looking over your left shoulder. Tuck your back toes, inhale, untwist, we're gonna open to the side of your mat, here's that five-pointed star, just means we're gonna change directions on our mat. Turn your left toes in, Right toes out. Inhale, left arm stretches up. Exhale, bring your left hand down to your right foot or to somewhere on your right leg or to the outside of your right foot. Right arm's going to go up. Twisted triangle. Inhale, stand up. Bring your hands to your hips and stick your left foot out in front of you. Look at your left big toe. Toes are pointed. Temple squat. Exhale, cross your left heel on top of your right thigh. Bring your hands to your heart and sink down. Temple squat. Inhale, feet to the floor. Raise your arms up. Exhale, lower your hands down to the earth. Plant your hands and step back into that downward facing dog position. I'm going to do all that again and add a little bit more. On to the end, always starting with the right. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, roll it open or flip your dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, toes towards the sky. Exhale, right foot forward to your hands. Inhale and sweep your arms up. Here's that high lunge. Exhale, twist open to the right. So you're going to twist, twist your lunge. Do that back stroke. Inhale, right arm in front of you. Lift it up. Drop your back heel. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. Lean back. Lengthen. And exhale, drop down and contract. Hands to your heart. Drop your back knee. Connect your left elbow towards your right knee. Look over your shoulder. Inhale, open up, side of your mat, five-pointed star. We're going to change sides, right toes in, left toes out. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right hand down, somewhere on your right leg. Left arm stretches up towards the ceiling, twist open. Inhale, hands to your hips, stand up. Kick your right leg out in front of you, look at your right big toe. Exhale, right heel to your left thigh. Bring your hands to your heart and sink down. Now here's where we're going to add on. Add on again. You're going to uncross your right foot. Place your right foot in your right hand and kick up into what's called dancer pose. You're still balancing on the left foot. Kick your foot into your hand. Stretch your left hand up. Kick your right foot up. Kick and reach and stretch. Lengthen. And then exhale, lower your fingertips down to the ground. Lift your right leg up as high as you can. Curl your nose in towards your knee. This is standing split. 
Inhale, lift up just a little bit. Exhale, plant your hands and step back. Downward facing dog. Let's do it on the left. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee under your body. Take a twist, touch your right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, roll your hip open. Roll open to the right. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Touch the same side. Bring it together. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot forward. Bring it in between your hands. Inhale, raise your arms up. Nice high lunge. Keep your legs and exhale, twist your lunge open to the left. Just the upper body is changing here. Do the backstroke, inhale, lift your left arm up. Drop your right heel, grab your left wrist with your right hand, sky archer. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, drop down to kneel, and then twist right elbow towards your left knee. Inhale, untwist, open the long edge of your space, five pointed star, and then changing sides. Left toes in, right toes out. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale and twist. Left hand somewhere on your right leg. Right arm's gonna go up. This is that twisted triangle. Inhale, stand up, bring your hands to your hips. Kick your left leg out in front of you. Look at your left big toe. Exhale, left heel to your right knee. Bring your hands to your chest and sink down. Temple squat. Here's where we add it on. Inhale, lift up just a little so you can unhook that left foot. Place your left foot in your left hand and then kick up. Right fingertips reaching up. Left toes reaching up. Kick, 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 kick. Expand. And exhale, lower down. All ten fingers down. Left leg goes up. Nose towards your knee. Inhale, lift up just a little. Exhale, put your hands down. Drop your left toe, step your right foot back to meet the left. Downward facing dog, great job. Let's do it one more time on each side. Here we go, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, roll it open. Fire hydrant or flip your dog. Inhale, right leg up, exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, right foot forward to your hands. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Lift up. Exhale, open to the right. Do the backstroke. Inhale, lift your right arm up. Connect your left hand with your right wrist. Lean back. Legs are pretty straight here. And exhale, bend both of your knees. Drop down into a kneeling position and twist, contracting and pulling in. Tuck your back toes, inhale, untwist, open and expand to the side of your mat. Right toes in, left toes out, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, drop your right fingertips down somewhere near your left foot, left arm is gonna go up. Twisted triangle. Inhale, stand up, hands to your hips, kick your right leg out in front of you, toes are nice and pointed. Exhale, right heel, fold it, bring it on top, of your left thigh. Bring your hands to heart center and drop down. Temple squat. Inhale, stand up. Bring your right foot, swing it back into your right hand, then lift up. Kick as hard as you can. So lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. And exhale, bow forward, fingertips down. Right leg is still going to go up. Curl in towards your knee. Inhale, lift up a little. Exhale, plant your hands, drop your right toes down. Step your left foot back to meet the right. Down dog. One more time on the left, here we go. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, roll it open or flip your dog. Inhale, right toes towards the ceiling. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, extend, exhale, left foot forward, bring it to your hands. Inhale, raise your arms up. High crescent lunge. And exhale, twist, open. To your left, look back at your left thumb. Do the backstroke, inhale, left arm stretches up. 
Grab your left wrist with your right hand, lean back. And exhale, drop down and twist. Knee down, twist, 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 twist. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, open up, untwist, expand open to the side of your mat and change directions, left toes in, right toes out. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, twist. Left fingertips down, right arm goes up. Twisted triangle. Inhale, hands to your hips. Kick your left leg out in front of you. Point your toes. Exhale, left heel to your right thigh. Hands to heart center and sink down. Inhale, take your left hand, grab your left foot. Kick, kick up, dance, stretch and reach up. Kick, 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 kick. And exhale, fingertips to the ground. Right leg's gonna go up, nose to your knee. Inhale, lift up a little. Plant your hands, drop your left toe, step your right foot back to meet the left downward facing dog. Inhale, drop your knees down. Exhale, sink back into a child's pose. So your hips are gonna go back. Forehead drops down. And settle into this nice grounded position. You can choose to keep your knees close to one another. Stretches your back. You can move your knees wide apart, which compresses the hips. Arms can stay in front of you, or you can reach your hands back towards your feet or place them on your low back. Notice the qualities of your breath now that we move with awareness of breath for a little bit of time. The more aware and the more we improve the quality of our breathing, the longer our lifespan will be, the longer our prana or vital energy will sustain us in this current life form. So observing in nature those animals in the animal kingdom that breathe more slowly, like elephants, tortoises, and some species of, of pythons breathe very slowly. They have very long lifespans. They live for a long, long time. Other animals that have a quicker respiratory rate, like uh, many birds, um, rabbits, and some species of dogs, right? They breathe quickly. They have shorter lifespans. Using that as a way, you know, to observe and to notice and keep us connected to the qualities of our breath. Longer breath, longer life. All right, let's start to walk your hands in towards your knees. Press your hands firmly against uh, the ground here and use your hands to lift yourself up. We're gonna come into a seated position. So drop your bottom down to the floor. Bring the soles of your feet together and rest your hands just comfortably on, on your feet. Baddha Konasana, a couple of variations of the Inhale, you're gonna lengthen up. So make your spine nice and long. So a nice long line of energy between where your body is touching the ground and the top of your head. So lengthen up. And then exhale, keep that length. Stretch forward and down. Keep a nice flat back. The chest comes down towards your feet. Looking forward of your feet. Lots of beautiful sensation in the hips and, and low back, specifically the inner thigh, inner hip area. Nice deep breath to experience the opening around the hips and low back. Really important to keep this particular part of the body open, you know, back and hips 
you sometimes uh, become very contracted and very um, still um, as we age and we keep the prana, the life force, the breath flowing. It's really important that we keep this part of the body open. So while we're here, imagine inflating and breathing into your kidneys, the back side of your body. We generally equate the breath with the front side, right? The chest, the heart, and the lungs, or sometimes even the belly. Now see if you can move that breath into the back side of your body. Expanding breath awareness expands life experience and life awareness. Next, inhale, lift your chest up. Make a slight change to this posture, just changing it a little bit. Inhale and lift up again. Find that nice long spine, nice long line of energy. Lift up. And exhale, drop your chin towards your chest and look at your belly button. Continue rounding down. Look at your navel as you round down. Hollow out your belly. Squeeze your belly and hollow it out. Round down. Rounding, rounding, rounding. Rounding your upper back shoulders, your upper spine, rolling, rounding, rounding in. Imagine that the top of your head is going to drop down in between your feet. Just keep rounding down, rounding down, rounding down, rounding down. Still keep that breath going into the kidney area, the back side of the body. It's going to feel a little different with a hollowed belly. Try to keep the breath nice and deep. One more big inhale and exhale here. And then with the next inhale, slowly come up, uncurling your spine, head comes up. It's wonderful. Now let's move our feet apart into a straddle, straddle position. So feet nice and wide. And a little flex in your feet uh, can help here. Push your heels slightly away. Toes are kind of coming back towards you. It keeps your uh, femur bone yeah, nice and aligned with your hips. It also helps keep your knees in a nice, happy place. So keep your hips nice and rooted here. So both butt cheeks down on the ground. Inhale and stretch up, lengthen, expand. Palms are gonna face forward. And exhale, reach forward. Palms coming forward. Place them down on the ground in front of you. And then you can gently start to slide. Yeah, you can walk your hands forward, alternating one at a time, or slide both of your hands forward. Yeah, coming forward as far as, as far as you care to. And again, listening to the quality of, of your breath while you're here. You notice, oh, I, my breath is all of a sudden becoming shallow and fast. You're probably doing a little bit too much. Yeah, you're moving into that rajasic energy. You might be pushing a little bit too hard and your body's starting to compensate by uh, making the breath shorter. It's defending itself, defending itself a bit. Or on the flip side of that, you know, if you don't really feel anything, there's no sensation, it's more likely that your mind is going to start to wander off somewhere else. Becoming dull, lethargic, the breath may become slow, you're no longer interested, you know, the mind starts to drift out. That's tamasic energy manifesting. You want to find that nice space of balance. 
So you're not pushing too hard, but you're clenching or holding the breath or the breath is rapid, uh, nor are you you're drifting off. Yeah, uninterested, yeah, tired, whatever. Yeah, we want to be in that sattvic place, that place in between. We're relaxed, but we're also alert. Yeah, relaxed but alert. Slowly start to come up, so walking your hands in. And use your hands to gently lift, lift your chest up. We do one more little stretch here in honor of our friend the tortoise, yeah, Kormasana, tortoise pose. So our, our friend that has a long lifespan. They say breathe slowly, breathe slowly. So from Upavishta Konasana, or from this straddle position, Bend your knees a bit. So you still have your feet wide, but knees are now are now bent. Now you can choose to just relax, you know, your elbows down on your knees just like this, especially if you have any upper body or arm issues. This next variation of Kormasana may or may not um, be for you. But you'll place your hands down in between your knees, and then you're gonna slide your hands out. So I like to bring the heels of my hands together fingertips pointing towards each side of the room, hands to the mat, and then slide out. So your hands and your arms are going underneath your knees. Then you want to start to angle your hands back, back behind you. So it, as you thread your hand or your arm underneath your knee, your hand is reaching back, fingertips pointing towards the back of your space, towards the back of your space. And leaning forward as much as you would, would like to. Again, noticing your breath while you're here, palms down and towards your mat. But if at any time that it causes any you know, pinpoint pain or, or something in your shoulder, you're not going to want to continue to do that. You bring your hands out and just relax your hands here and gently lean forward. Hands pointing back. You feel pretty good. You can start to straighten out, straighten out your legs which will bring your chest down, but the chest will remain rounded, and that's what represents um, the shell, the shell of the tortoise. Notice your breath while you're here. Make adjustments as you need to. Find that nice space of balance, that sattvic place. A few more breaths wherever you are. Slowly start to bring yourself out. If you came all the way forward, the best thing to do is to start bending your knees, creating more space so that you can start to unthread, unthread your arms. All right, so now we're gonna bring the feet closer together, knees closer together. Get ready to lie down on our backs. You can grab underneath your knees, the tops of your knees, roll down, give your knees a nice, a nice hug here. And inhale and exhale, drop your feet down to the ground. Cross your left leg over the right leg. Take your arms out like the letter T or over your head and exhale, drop both of your knees to the right. Turn your head to the left. Big 
some deep breaths. We're nearing the end of practice. The end of our experience bringing together breath and movement. Let's enjoy each breath, big, deep breaths. We can stay connected and focused. Time you inhale, let's bring everything back. Uncross the legs. Recross them the other way. Exhale as you find your twist in the other direction. Next breath in, bring everything back to the center again. Uncross your legs and get ready for final relaxation. If you need to keep your knees bent or side by side, go for it. If you want to stretch out your legs long, stretch out your legs long. And gently close your eyes. Notice the quality of your experience through your breath. And even as we're here, lying in Shavasana, there's still that, that connection, the connection to your breathing. Take some longer breaths. Experiencing this transition from death to rebirth fully. As 
we move from Shavasana into the rest of our day. Stretch a little bit or make some movements. Draw your knees in and rock up or roll to one side. Come to seated to seal our practice for this evening. So bring your hands to your heart. A moment here of gratitude and unconditional love. Thanks so much, everyone, for practicing and doing a little yoga with me this evening. Namaste, namaste. Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks for uh, joining me this evening in this virtual virtual format. Uh, next next Monday, uh, we will be at the Plaza. So as far as uh, the Braves are not playing, so we can be there. So we'll just have to make sure that uh, Mother Nature helps us out as well, and we'll be able to uh, practice outside uh, together next week. So please make sure to sign up if you need to and hope to see you there soon. Have a great rest of your Monday, everybody. Bye.